Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Unraid 6.9.0 beta RC2 and I've just purchased a NVIDIA P2000 GPU and I'm going to be setting that up with the new NVIDIA driver plugin as well as setting up the Linux server transcoder for the GPU. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, let's take a look. Okay, so I haven't actually done this before. I thought this would be a little bit more of an impromptu video, and if I just kind of fumbled my way through this a little bit, maybe it would give somebody out there uh, a helpful, a helpful hand here. I'm going to be looking at the NVIDIA driver plugin that's only for Unraid 6.9 and above. This does not work on 6.8.3. Now I've got a Dell R720 and I've got, it looks like now on the, the main page here, there is a, uh, a little widget for our GPU. So the first thing I'm going to do, at least according to the NVIDIA driver plugin, is I'm just going to follow these steps here. I'm going to go to Community Applications, do a quick search, NVIDIA driver, okay, looks like this is the one I want. Always read the warning labels, don't close this window with the red X in the top right till done is displayed. This could take some time. Please don't close the window. All right, we'll be back here in just a second. And we're back. You can see all of this stuff is successfully installed. It's finished installing. If the done button did not appear, you'll need to click the red X in the top right corner. Now it did appear. Now before you close this off right here, go back and read the page and you'll see that it says Continue with step four, don't close this window for now. So I'm gonna leave that up. Step four, check if everything is installed correctly and recognized. To do this, go to the plugin itself. If everything shows up, plugins, NVIDIA driver. If you don't see a driver version at NVIDIA driver or another error, please scroll down to the troubleshooting section. So, fingers crossed, I'm gonna go to my plugins and NVIDIA driver. Okay, let's scroll down. Let's click that. Well, at least I can see my card here. Quadro P2000, 6.9.0 RC2. Attention, if you set the version to latest, the plugin will check on every restart if a new driver is available and download it. Please keep in mind the boot process can take longer than normal since the plugin downloads and installs the new driver on boot. Hmm. Let's see what this recommends here. If everything shows up correctly, click on the red alert notification from step three, not on the X. This will bring you to the Docker settings page. Okay. So I'm going to hold off on selecting one of these just yet. I'm going to click that and go to the Docker settings page. Oh, I may have to disable Docker. Uh, at the Docker page, uh, if everything shows up, it'll bring you to the Docker settings. At the Docker page, change enable Docker from yes to no and hit apply. Okay. See what the next step is. You can now close the message from step two. Okay. Then again, change enable Docker from no to yes and hit again apply. That step is only necessary for the first plugin installation. You can skip that step if you're going to reboot the server. Well, I just rebooted after the RC update. Uh, the background to this is that when the NVIDIA driver package is installed, also a file is installed. 
that interacts directly with the Docker daemon. Okay. All right. So let's close that. Let's re-enable our Docker. Good to go. Now I just want to make sure I didn't see anywhere on here where it said which version if they either one they recommend. Everything is installed. The screenshot is showing version 455.38. I think what I'm going to do is select a single instance of this version here. That way I don't have any nasty surprises later on. If I go to update and something breaks, I'm going, oh, how do I revert back? What is this? I'm just going to do that. Now I'm getting this message after I selected that. It says NVIDIA driver installation, restart your server to install the NVIDIA driver. I think that's already installed. I need to go back up and read. If everything, to do this, go to the plugin itself. If everything shows up correctly uh, at the Docker page, change enable Docker from yes to no. Then again, change enable Docker from no to yes and hit apply. That step is only necessary for the first plugin installation you can skip that step if you're going to reboot the server. So it seems like maybe they left a step out here. Maybe they should have said to select one of these and then do this. So now that I've selected that, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna X that. And I'm just gonna stop and restart my Docker service one more time. Settings. Docker, just to err on the side of caution here. Enable Docker, apply. Now I'm going to re enable it. Yes. Done. All right, then I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to switch over to my Docker tab. And I'm going to get ready to edit my Plex container. To hopefully enable the NVIDIA drivers. So from here, let's scroll down. If you don't plan or want to use acceleration within Docker's, then don't install this plugin. Well, that's never use one card for a VM and in Docker containers. Okay. You can use. All right. So I'm going to go down in your Docker containers to post two in this thread. Here's post two. So let me scroll down. Um, I'll leave a link to this in the description. If you have, if you're running one of these other media servers, Jellyfin or Ambi, it looks like there's instructions on how to do that. I'm running Plex and I do have a lifetime Plex pass. So I'm gonna, I'm sorry for all the switching back and forth here. I'm just, I figured this would be a cool impromptu video um, to kind of watch what it's like to install this for the first time, at least on the new beta version. So uh, we need to add runtime equals NVIDIA to the extra parameters, okay. I'm just going to copy and paste that. Let's open up Plex. Advanced view, extra parameters, paste that, okay. Add a variable to your Docker template with the key NVIDIA visible devices and as value your GPU UI ID. Okay. I'm going to copy that. All right, we want that to be a variable.
before I fill in the key, let's make sure we have all the other description, container, variable. Okay. Value. Oh, the name is NVIDIA VD. Okay, so I'll put that on the wrong spot. And the key is NVIDIA Visible Devices. The value I need to get from my GPU UID. So I'm just going to open up a new tab real quick. So now you can actually get your, G <clears throat> your GPU UID from the NVIDIA driver plugin. So let's click that. And we'll be able to see that right here. Install GPUs, there's the Quadro P2000. So I'm gonna copy that. And paste that in as the value on this new variable. add that okay now let's see what our next step is okay add a variable to your docker template with the key nvidia driver capabilities and as value all okay let's go ahead and copy and paste that variable key Value is all, A-L-L. -L. And let's see what they used for the name real quick. NVIDIA DC, okay. Let's add that. See what our next step is. Number four, make sure to enable hardware transcoding in the application container itself. Okay, we'll do that. After starting the container and playing some movie that needs to be transcoded that your graphics card is capable of, you should see that you can now successfully transcode using your NVIDIA graphics card. The text HW at video is indicating exactly that. HW and HW. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and pull that down. Looks like the container is back up. One curious thing that I'm noticing is the little icon for the logs that used to be over here on the far right is no longer there. That's interesting. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open up. Oh, there's logs right there. Starting Plex Media Server. It doesn't look like there's any major errors. That's good. Let's go ahead and open up our web UI. I need to sign in real quick. And I will catch you on the other side of this. Okay. Here I am, all signed in. Now, I'm going to go back to the instruction page. And I'm going to enable the hardware transcoding. So that should be under transcoder settings. On the left, I'd like to go ahead and... I had this HDR tone mapping enabled before, and it just did not work on any of the 4K videos that I had using the server. Um, hardware accelerated video encoding is already enabled. I think because I had tried to use Intel GPU before, and my server doesn't have quick sync. So, obviously that didn't work. Let's save those changes. And let me queue up a stream and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm queuing up a video that I purposefully chose to downstream from a 1080 HEVC to a 720. And it's showing the hardware. Showing the hardware marker. Let's go back over here and take a look at the dashboard and see what my CPU is looking like. There it is right there. Utilization 
using 7% of the memory. Power draw, 27 watts, 27 out of 75. Fan usage at 55%, it's not throttled, only one session. Cool, so it looks like it's in good shape. All right. Well, this wasn't the most polished video. It was more of an impromptu, uh, hey, watch me fumble through this. <laughs> so maybe it helps some of you guys. It's not too complicated. Um, but it looks like that new plugin, the NVIDIA plugin for the 6.9 release, works pretty well. I'm excited to try out the new P2000. I know a lot of guys already have them running in their servers. I'm a little late to that party, but I'm excited to see what it can do. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, have a great day.